Hello people, today we're talking about Killing Eve Season 3, which wrapped up about a week ago, spoilers ahead. I didn't watch this season week to week, I actually binged it over the last few days, and I have to say, this was really disappointing for me. I would say that first season and the back half of second season were pretty amazing and the third season didn't live up to those in any way whatsoever. This season kind of felt like a setup for fourth season rather than a its own season, if that makes sense. It had a few amazing moments, but even those, like the ending of the first episode, the Kenny's death, didn't really have any any sort of any sort of satisfying conclusion to them. I do think I do think that the Kenny's death is going to have more explanation in the coming seasons, but this just exemplifies just how empty this season really feels. My favorite episode by far was the Villanelle going back to her family and home. It really had interesting dynamics between the characters and also had distinct style and story. I wish they had done more of these single character oriented episodes like they've done in Leftovers in the past. because. The storylines of Eve and Villanelle really didn't have anything in common, and they didn't even come together in any real way even at the end of the season. And the few interactions they had, like the one at the bus, felt really out of place. Even though it was great to see them together. It just came out of nowhere and went into nothingness and it didn't really have any reason to happen rather than let's just get these two characters back together because they have nothing going on together. Wow, great idea. And they had also so many weird moments like the attack on Nika. What even was that? Nico is standing right in front of Eve and he gets tapped in the neck and Eve does nothing about it. She doesn't go out of the, after the murder, supposed, or help Nico in any way. She just falls to the ground. Great job, Eve. Yeah, no. Also, next episode, Nico is fine. Never mind. This whole season feels like it should be condensed down to like three or maybe four episodes max that would set up the second half of a season. And the ending? It really didn't feel earned at all. It just felt tucked on at the end. And it was such a cliche. Oh, they looked back at each other. Wow, they must really love each other. Didn't see that one coming. Anyways, the performances are still amazing at least, but there's nothing, there's really nothing new about them except for maybe Fiona Shaw's character. Sandra O, oh, Jodie Comer are still amazing, and Fiona Shaw is obviously excellent. About the art itself, I decided to paint this concept of Eve and Villanelle to represent their relationship that is complicated. They're after each other like cat and mouse, but they're also in love with each other. 
So the snakes are the representation of this. They want to bite each other, but they but they want to bite each other, but they end up creating this heart symbol in the background. I used watercolor for this painting, and also some pencils and pens, and some acrylics. The faces turned out horribly. I do not like them at all, and I blame the small scale of the painting. This was not... This was not... Because of my poor face painting skills. Definitely not. It was because of the small scale. Just a small scale, nothing else. No further questions, just a small scale, nothing else. Small scale. That is it for today. Subscribe and like. Who are you going to kill today?